So offsides in soccer, notwithstanding. <laughs> offsides in soccer, traveling in basketball, holding in football. Okay. What are they, and why aren't they called on a consistent basis? <laughs> Meantime, or yeah. should we just eliminate them altogether? Meantime, mm. in a small town in Wisconsin, Ilona Mar was soaking up the attention. She's a stud, isn't she? she really, she's just, just yeah. fantastic. I love that girl. She is spectacularly good. <laughs> she is. Uh, she she thinks uh, she wants to be the funniest uh, rugby player in the whole world, and I think she's already. She means funny, haha, right? Yes, yes, I know rugby players who are funny, strange. Like who? Really? Really? Mm. Three of them lived mm. in your house. <laughs> I didn't know it. Did Ann play rugby? No, she was Three of them lived player. at your house. She played until she was 40, though. Rugby? No, softball. Oh, so did Robin. She played so, church league like till I, I was oh, old. That's amazing. So um, going way back, uh, we had the uh, killer whales uh, out in Spain playing that are playing with boats. Yeah. And I found out what they my said. grandson does that. <laughs> Not, the same. Not the same way. No, I, they're kind of small and plastic and nobody's on them. I heard a story on a man named Brady National Public Radio. Because they do long-form radio better than anybody right now. He was bringing up three boys of his own. So, uh, apparently, they're Just going... four men living all together. <laughs> they played rugby. They were weird. <laughs> Me. Funny, strange, not funny, huh? I'm sorry, go ahead. So, uh, but apparently, it is a... Okay, do you ever think for one second... What? That Florence Henderson would, would marry um, Robert, I can't think of it, the dad. Yeah. That couple is just not... No. No, it's just not right. Because he's an architect. He's yes. very logical and straight laced. And Florence, the wife, plays someone who's not. <laughs> I mean, she's emotional. I mean, you can have differences. Yeah. No, she's kind of flighty. <laughs> that was sort of the end of it, by the way. Where so the what you think is that you come off like Robin? Is that what you're telling me? Oh, God, no. Okay, then. No, I think. Uh, I don't know. Someone has pictures of her and his voice. Someone pays her on the on the side. I don't know. Every day I wake up and go, you're brighter than this. <laughs> Your dad left something in the will is what I'm thinking that you just were not told about. He would. I love that old man. <laughs> so I'm sorry. Back, back to these orcas. It turns out they're attacking the rudders of certain boats that are a certain shape. They call it a spade rudder. And they're touching and biting them. And a, that appears to be part of the game they're playing. Right? And when one comes off, then they play with the rudder in the in the water. They'll wear it on their nose. They'll wear it on their head. They'll pass it over to some other idiot who decides to wear it on their nose. Yeah, but then it pisses them off, and one of them will take their rudder home. Yeah, and, and, and then, you Taking know. Taking my boat, rudder and going home. <laughs> and the boat's going, well, holy crap. Now what am I going to do? Sir? <laughs> May I have my rudder back? About the steering of the ship. Now, last is that time... that orc over there? Yeah. The guy who left next to him is taking the rudder home. <laughs> now, on the last mailbag, we talked about the... I think it was the last mailbag. We talked about uh, the whale that landed on the fishing boat uh, in the U.S. Northeast. Which should right? happen more often from all the pictures <laughs> I see. <laughs> right? And it turns out that whale was just feeding... And the boat was in the way. No, oh, stupid boat. Get out of it, the way. And it was a humpback whale, not an orca. So the two aren't related. <laughs> what are you? What are you? What hump? <laughs> so for the first Mel Book I reference do, of the week. I do not have Marty Feldman eyes, <laughs> which was one of the great songs of all time, by the way. Now, here's a new one. You ready? With, with all due respect to. The, who was it? Who sang Betty Davis Eyes? Uh, Kim Carnes. Yeah, with all due respect to Kim, who's a fine singer. Um, and Betty Davis Eyes is still one of my favorite songs. Mm -hmm. Marty Feldman Eyes was much funnier. <laughs> Nearly 50, count them, 50 beachgoers have been attacked in the past three years. Two were called for holding, one travel. 
and the other <laughs> and was one sides was offsides and then wasn't offsides and then because was apparently her husband yes. who the pass was intended for yeah didn't touch the whale ah i understand that anyway this is although in the hot dog cart vendor and the woman with the umbrella both look like they sort of gave up on the play because of the husband <laughs> Well, that's as clear as it could possibly be. Sure. At the beaches along an idyllic coastal stretch of central Japan, lifeguards scan the water, poised to call swimmers back to shore at the hint of a fin. Are they... poor poised? Matter of fact, they are poor poised. Wow. Oh. Sharp teeth shown on posters worn beach doors. I used to be able to do that. <laughs> to be oh, careful nuts. because for the third year running sorry there is a danger in the water and no it ain't sharks well the aforementioned I lost my interest possible just a single lonely sexually frustrated dolphin named bruce <laughs> and but nearsighted apparently he's trying to get uh, close to uh, swimmers <laughs> But it's not so funny because. And why did you snicker still a little knowingly? Fukui police say uh, in one case, a man was left with broken ribs. So apparently this is sort of like, did you ever watch? No. You'd had to. No. Deep Space Nine. I never did. Star Trek Deep Space Oh. No, well, I'm not a well, I'm not a big trekker. Okay, when the prettiest gal on set falls in love with Worf and they decide to become He's the, the not Vulcan, he's the Klingon. Klingon. I could never get past having a Klingon on the bridge of a starship. Of she, a Federation uh, starship. It just looked weird and wrong and after date nights she kept showing up at the dock getting broken bones healed. <laughs> and I was like, hmm. There's a certain hazard to dating Klingons. There are questions now. <laughs> that questions was my that favorite. Should remain unanswered. And I, most importantly, unasked. And, you know, from the next generation, there was that great scene where uh, some female uh, of his species shows up on the bridge. Why was and Worf on Deep Space Nine? They start because well, that's where he traveled to next after his uh, assignment. Show time. went over. Yeah, the show was great. Um, no, but, no, after after Next Gen was over, he went. Yeah, to, after Next Gen was over, he moved. I like the Ferengi bartender the best. He was uh, he was kind of fun. So w this this female of his species shows up on the bridge of the Enterprise, and they start fighting like wild cats. Somebody says, "What the heck? What's it like when you guys are in love?" And he says, "That that was foreplay. What are you talking?" <laughs> it was just great. Anyway. So, you know, you don't want a Randy Dolphin snuggling up to you in Japan. I don't want any sort of dolphin <laughs> snuggling up to you. I mean, I don't care if it's Flipper or Nick Bonacani, none of them. <laughs> I, uh, we Boy, wait. some of you who aren't old enough will have yeah, to really we'll not do know that. That's a, yeah, that's no, a reference. No, let to... it go. Let it okay, go. Fine. They've got let them Google. look it up. Uh, Patrick's going to go wild now. So he's, he's English, right? Uh, I'm sorry, he's he, Irish, right? He, he's Irish, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they go in wild? Or, I mean, if you know they're sober, <laughs> <laughs> when they're not being reported dead. <laughs> well, there is that. So um, poor Ned. <laughs> so, <laughs> are you ready for this? Is one Patrick sent in a dad? was cycling to work. He was almost there. Yeah, I'm with you so far. Two cats were fighting. And okay. cut, cut, cut across his path, uh -oh. getting stuck in his wheels. Is there video? Tell me there's video. Please, dear God, let there be video. If you don't want the video, he wasn't wearing a helmet. Oh, no. Yep, sandwich. Because I'm floor. pretty sure when something gets stuck in your spokes on a bicycle, you go thud. And he did the poor Generally, man. Generally, 
if you're traveling that way, you go thud that way. <laughs> yep. And it was uh, poor feller unalived. But what a way to go. Yep. Right? Well, if your sandwich is going to hit the floor, dude. It might as well make it spectacular. Do it with style. Oh, and it happened in. You ready? You sitting down. You sitting down. You sitting down. You sitting down. Yes, I'm sitting down. I hate you. <laughs> in rugby, Warwickshire, and we're back. <laughs> See? See, that's humor when you go full circle. Yeah. Now that's... we just say thank. Now we just say thank you, Toledo, and walk off. <laughs> thank you, Toledo. And then you applaud and applaud and applaud, and we don't oh, come back because that's as funny as we're going to be. Which reminds me, oh, we were doing a show a couple of weekends ago him? in one of the northern yeah, towns, in one of the towns north of me. Oh, there's something north of you besides Canada. I'm north of you. You, Canada. yeah, but it was one of the other ones. In any case, our <laughs> lead, there's only two. Our lead and then book. Winnipeg vocalist gets up there and says hey thanks for having us here in and i think we were in stacy and she said some other s hermantown town <laughs> something along those lines yeah and i looked at her and i go hello cleveland <laughs> it's just what and ian pipes up he goes that's the second time this year i've had a hello cleveland moment <laughs> he had it with another band i had earlier. to tell you hell, hot in cleveland wasn't worth that no, it really wasn't. No, but it is what it is. But it did have Valerie Bertinelli and Betty White, so it had. Oh, two. it was cute. Okay, let's go over to the comments, please, because we've dragged this out for twenty-three hours already. From uh, this is true, really news episode eight eight eight. Ah, the mark of the fat man. <laughs> it's sure. got to be because it's from old fat man. There we are. I am sneakily adding a comment. Snark, snark, snark. Yeah, he just threw us a couple of snarks, too. And I don't know. Are, are we going to put up with that nonsense? Well, we usually appreciate a good snark. <laughs> yeah, well, he gave us three pretty good snarks. Well, there you go. And he did it sneakily. You must have requested it. I have to look that up sneakily. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a word. I mean, it's it, a, did you I understand know all, what I said? I know all words are made up. Yes. Oh, see, you're one of those. I am. Yes, and the only purpose of language is that we're understood. We don't need to have any form or function. No, we don't. In fact, Scots has no spelling etiquette. The Scots language. So you They're spell Scottish. things the way you think they sound. Well, yeah. Of course they have no etiquette of anything. <laughs> they dye themselves purple and run naked into battle. What's the... <laughs> Against the Romans, and the Romans go, holy crap, even the women... <laughs> That kid can't be more than eight. What Apropos, the hell? <laughs> Apropos, this is true, really news. Mailbag episode 144 from Old Fat Man. Man, he was busy. We're bored. We're not bald. We're follicularly challenged. I rode my mit motorcycle so fast, I outran my hair. boy. Hi, Pete Betts. He waves. So, <laughs> and now we know. Wait. The rest is that what you did? Story. Did you ride a motorcycle when you were younger? No, that's what oh. uh, I'm sure. Sure, that's what old fat man did. Did you stick your head out the window a lot as a kid? I don't know. <laughs> no, Most I grew too tall. From no, my hair was meant for a guy who was five nine, and I grew to be over. almost six two. Yeah, and Couldn't so follow a lot, there a lot of hair in my ear and shoulders. So uh... yeah, no, we didn't need to know that. Apropos, this is True Really News, mailbag episode 144 from my brother Chris. I didn't know that a statue of a zebra could cover his eyes. He did, and this is good. Uh, Tony, you're being upbraided. I don't have enough hair to be braided. <laughs> Lance Allworth never played for the Vikings. He played 11 seasons for the Chargers. Lance Rensel. Oh, crap, it was Rensel. Played for the Vikings and was quickly traded to the Cowboys. <laughs> In Minnesota, he became known as the Lance of Rensel for several indiscretions. <laughs> yes. And I'm sure Bud was not having yeah, any of that. they both had the long flowing hair, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who the hell names their kid Lance? For <laughs> Apropos. You're right. I hate to say it, but. Yeah. You're right. I was close. Wow. Close. <laughs> The only two Lances in the NFL. I got the name right. The first one. 
Apropos, this is True Really News, episode 889. I was never played for the Vikings. He played all those seasons. <laughs> From Old Fat Man. Given the average canine's proclivity to roll in the nearest pile of nastiness, why would anyone even consider covering in perfume what should be shampooed at least a few times before it's allowed near the sofa? Good grief. Well, our point as well. I, we cannot argue with it. And my lovely wife added, and uh -oh. if you put perfume on them, they will rapidly seek the nearest pile of nastiness and what can only be described as spitefulness. <laughs> and yes, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you don't want eau de mutt. Mm -mm. <laughs> Yet somebody's putting it out. Of course they are. You know why? Because they can. We are a stupid species. Yeah. <laughs>